Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. JJ Redick trolls Dalton Connect after his incredible 35-point game against the Suns. JJ Redick trolls Dalton Connect after his incredible 35-point game against the Suns Los Angeles Lakers rookie Dalton Connect impressed all NBA fans last night after he dropped 35 points to help the Lakers earn a 128-122 win over the Phoenix Suns. After the game, head coach J.J. Redick poked fun at Connect for doing a post-game interview, noting that it was the most he had ever heard him speak. That's the most you've talked in your life, bro. Connect was absolutely sensational last night, as he put up 35 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 steals, and 2 blocks to snatch the win for the Lakers. Connect went a staggering 10-18 from the field, 8-13 from the three-point line, and 7-8 from the free-throw line. Connect helped decide the game for the Lakers, as he scored the last 20 of his 35 points consecutively in the fourth quarter and overtime. Connect's performance sent Laker fans into a frenzy online, as they marveled at the capabilities of their newest rookie. If his performances continue at this level, Connect will become a fan favorite in Los Angeles very soon. Many have dubbed Connect the steal of the 2024 NBA draft, as the Lakers were able to land him with the 17th overall pick. He immediately lived up to the hype surrounding him at the NBA Summer League, where he played three games for the Lakers, and averaged 21.3 points, 5.3 rebounds, 2.3 assists, 1.7 steals, and 0.7 blocks per game while shooting 41.8% from the field and 39.1% from the three-point line. In the Lakers' preseason games, Connect has continued his impressive form and has surely earned a spot in the Lakers' rotation next season by contributing an average of 18.0 points, 4.2 rebounds, 2.0 assists, 1.4 steals, and 0.8 blocks in all five games played, while shooting 43.6% from the field and 36% from the three-point line. J.J. Redick revealed after the game a conversation he had with Reggie Miller, where he noted that Connect is in the top 1% of shooters in the NBA, something Miller didn't initially agree with. Reggie, Miller, and I were talking before the game and he was like, it's high praise to say he's in the top 1% of shooters, well, nah, he's in the top 1%. That was supernatural what he just did. It will be interesting to see what kind of minutes J.J. Redick trusts Dalton Connect to play next season for the Lakers, especially coming off a great summer and preseason. But he might be trusted to make some big shots for the Lakers, as they have found their most impressive draft pick since Brandon Ingram. Reporters caught up to Dalton Connect after the Lakers went over the Suns and asked him about his performance. Connect noted that he felt fully in the zone after he made his big shot over Bull Bull to cut down the lead, and revealed what LeBron James and Anthony Davis told him as the Lakers went into overtime. I would say it fully took over after I took the first one over Bull Bull. I felt good, and I just kept shooting in overtime. Bron and AD said it's time, so it was just time to take over. Shout out to my teammates, they were looking for me. It's good to see the veterans on the team like LeBron James and Anthony Davis showing support to the young rookie. Connect, much like Austin Reeves in the 2021-22 NBA season, seems poised to surprise people based on his play. J.J. Redick spoke earlier this month about how impressed he has been with Connect's performances so far, which indicates that he will be trusted to play big minutes for the Lakers next season. Dalton Connect reveals LeBron James's two-word message before dominant finish versus Suns. Los Angeles Lakers rookie Dalton Connect had his welcome to the association moment on Thursday night, and he did so in a memorable and dominant fashion. Connect, the number 17 overall pick in the 2024 NBA draft, was a force down the stretch for the Lakers in a 128-122 overtime victory over the Phoenix Suns. While the victory came in the second-to-last preseason game for the Lakers, Connect made it known that he's ready to make an impact immediately in his rookie season. 
Connect scored 20 straight points between the fourth quarter and overtime and assisted or scored on the team's final 22 points. The former Tennessee standout also knocked down the game-tying three-pointer with 4.8 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. When all was said and done, Connect finished with 35 points on 10 of 18 shooting while knocking down 8 of 13 attempts from beyond the arc. Following the game, Connect, who scored 13 of his 35 points in overtime, revealed what LeBron James and Anthony Davis said before his explosive finish. Braun and AD said, it's time, so it was just time to take over, Connect told reporters, per ESPN's Dave McMenamin. The Lakers rookie did more than take over Thursday night, he took the game into his own hands in crunch time. Connect made his case for a spot in the team's rotation when the regular season gets underway, and based on head coach J.J. Reddick's comments, it wouldn't be surprising to see him receive minutes right out of the gate. Reddick revealed that he told Reggie Miller before the game that Connect is in the top 1% of shooters and called his performance supernatural, as McMenamin detailed. Connect has scored 13 or more points in four of the Lakers' five preseason games. However, before the two most recent games, the rookie was off to a bit of a cold stretch while struggling to find the bottom of the basket from three-point range. Connect's confidence never wavered, though, and he proved that in Thursday night's victory. The Lakers open the regular season at home on Tuesday, October 22, against the Minnesota Timberwolves. They begin the new season with three consecutive home games before a five-game road trip at the end of the month. LeBron and Bronny James made NBA history by becoming the first father-son duo to play on the same team. The moment came on October 6 in the Los Angeles Lakers' second preseason game. But with the start of the 2024-25 NBA regular season just days away, fans are unlikely to see the James duo team up again in preseason play. While LeBron didn't suit up for the Lakers game on Thursday against the Phoenix Suns, he was still on the bench and in full teammate-slash-coach mode. One moment during the Lakers-Suns matchup drew plenty of attention, the future Hall of Famer was seen coaching Bronny on the sidelines in a rare but extremely cool clip. LeBron's coaching moment was caught during the broadcast, a video that lasted roughly 12 seconds. This is likely nothing new for Bronny, as he's undoubtedly received plenty of guidance from his father throughout his basketball career, but this moment was slightly different. Instead of a father giving his son advice during a game, it was a player with one of the NBA's most impressive resumes offering a few tips to a rookie teammate ahead of the season. However, it'll always be impossible to ignore how unique these moments truly are, as the NBA has never seen anything like it and almost certainly never will again. Bronny also put together a strong showing against the Suns during Thursday's 128-122 overtime victory, scoring four points on two of four shooting with four rebounds. But it was a night when Bronny did many things that didn't appear in the box score. The 2024 second-round pick had the highest plus-minus of any Lakers player, posting a plus-17 net rating in 17 minutes while playing the entire overtime period. Lakers and Kings still interested in Zach Levine trade, CHGO Bulls podcast. The CHGO Bulls crew discuss new reports that Sacramento Kings and Los Angeles Lakers are interested in trading for Chicago Bulls star, Zach Levine. Both teams have shown interest in Levine before, but will either team bite the bullet of Zach's contract to beef up their offense for the season ahead and a playoff run? Matt, Big Dave and will break down the likelihood of each trade and possible pieces involved. Plus, the guys react to the Bulls waving on your out Bidem and Kenny Lofton Jr. Does Talon Horton Tucker have the final roster spot locked up? And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Zach Levine? Leave your opinion in the comments.